Hi you guys, welcome back to my channel. <laughs> that was so stupid. Okay. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, this is Party Candy. <laughs> I hate this. Hi you guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna be showing you how to hang a balloon garland. Um, this is just a very simple little garland I put together real quick so I can show you the different techniques that I personally use that I've learned from just different tutorials and classes that I've taken and just my own experience, my own preferences um, on how to hang your garland. So let's get at it. All right, my first technique, which is my favorite technique because it's just so much faster, um, is these DDMI, there's a couple brands, but I got them off Amazon. I'll put a link below. Um, they're just these sticky hooks. Um, I'll show you, this is a brand new box. And it looks like this. Like, let me get close. All right, this is our little hook. It has a peel adhesive. It's really sticky. These you can use um, outdoors, like on hard surfaces. I've used it honestly on like smoother, like rock material. They stick, they're very sticky. You do not want to stick this directly on the wall. Obviously that will damage the wall. So what I like to do, and I learned this from Anastasia, shout out to you girl. Um, but I learned this, I saw this on one of her videos. But what you will want to do is just put two pieces of tape Big or small, you won't be able to see it unless your garland's like really tiny, but just put your two pieces of tape and then get your hook and place it on top of that tape with the hook side hanging. Obviously, you're going to use that to tie garland next you're gonna take your 260 whatever color i have white today um but this is what i like to do all right so i just tie this twice let me get a close-up of that for you guys all right so i literally just tied it in a knot on the hook and this is what we're going to use super stretchy to attach our garland Cool, we're back. All right, so we have our hook. What we're gonna do with this garland, and depending on how long your garland is, you might need multiple across the wall, but it's gonna be the same technique. So, got our garland. I put this together with a 260. I'll show you how to do that, but my 260 is in the middle, so I'm holding onto that. I'm just gonna place the garland directly like centered with that hook. So what you're gonna do now is grab your, the end of that 260, I have it right here. Stretchy, stretchy. You're just gonna like, start twisting it around the balloon. And then once you feel like you're good, you can either tie it to any of these other balloons, honestly, you just make sure you tie it, or you can take it back and tie it back to the hook. I'm honestly just, it's tight enough. I'm just gonna tie it off on one of these other balloons. So grabbing a neck of another balloon and just tying it tight on there. So there you go. It's hung up. Obviously this is really plain. I'm about to do more videos of how to decorate this. So I'm gonna take it down and I'm gonna show you another way that you can hang it. Where are my scissors? Cut. And see, look, all you have to do when you're ready to take this down, you just peel the tape. I'm actually gonna leave this up. So another technique that's super popular is using command hooks, which personally, I love these little guys. They're just so much quicker and like command hooks, it's really iffy, like, 
if they're gonna stay on the wall. And they're meant to not damage the wall. But sometimes when you have it and you pull, you pull like on the balloon too hard, on the 260 too hard, it pops off and that rips paint off the wall. So a good practice is always putting the tape on the wall first, whatever you're using, because you'll prevent damage, even if you are using these guys, which are supposed to prevent that, but you know, nothing's perfect. So you have a couple options here. We have your typical command hook. This one is your, I think your Christmas light hook. And then this one is another one. I'll put links below of all of these. I'm personally gonna use this one, where's that? To show you how to do it. Um, Cause this is pretty popular. I think you can get more in a pack. Um, but yeah, ignore my nails. Um, of course, ever use a command hook? It comes with its own little stickies. So let me get one of these stickies and put it on. Ariana's playing in the background, of course. We love Ariana. We've been like channeling her lately because she's such a boss bitch. Can I say that? I don't know what my audience is yet. So anyway, we got the sticky. Let's put that on. So press that on for like 10, 15 seconds. I don't know. Technically you're supposed to wait like I don't know what the package says, like 30 minutes before you try to hang something, but we ain't got that kind of time. And usually when you're on the job, you don't have that time. So just make sure you press it. All right, same thing. We are going to get our 260 and just slide it on that little hook, double knot it like we did the last hook. you have it it is tied all right you guys the third way is for like non-professionals or even professionals if you are in a crunch and you don't have anything tack and just regular balloon string obviously this is will damage the wall you can use a nail um, but this is if you don't have command hooks or anything like that which is a one-time thing. Put our nail in, I mean our thumbtack in, and then I'm just gonna find the middle of this and tie it around the thumbtack. Just double knot it, make sure it's super tight. All right, so we're good. Now, in this way, I'm gonna, I'm gonna take one string, put it over the top, and then take this one from the bottom and then tie it really tight in the middle. So for this technique, don't pull too hard. Obviously you're using a tack so it could come out, but um, we're gonna take one string from the top and just kind of put it through our balloons. And then from the bottom, grab the other string. And then pull it through the bottom and just kind of meet in the middle. and tie it really closely to like where all your balloons are tied together. If you don't tie it tight enough, it's just gonna hang. All right, so we tied it. And then I'm just gonna cut the excess off. It's a little high, but you can always adjust the tack. So I'm gonna actually put it down lower. All right, and there you have it. That's three ways you can hang a balloon garland from a professional level all the way to just like what it, with whatever you have. But yeah, stay tuned. I'm gonna show you how to add five inch balloons to this to give it a little bit more dimension. So stay tuned for that.